What is going on, everybody? Iron Smithy here, back with another video. And today we are taking a look at Amazon Studios' first uh, AAA release uh, that is New World. Uh, we were able to jump into this game this weekend as part of the open beta. It is a game that I plan on focusing a whole lot of time into. We have recently been brought into their content creator program. I figured what we're going to do today is we're going to try to build ourselves a pirate in New World. And that is exactly what we have done. If this is the first time you're seeing my face and you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe down below. We are so close to 1,000 subscribers here and continuing to grow the channel. Uh, and if you guys want to come see some live playthrough of New World or other games that we are playing currently, come on over to twitch.tv forward slash ironsmithy uh, and you guys can ask any questions live. And without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. All right. So here we go, everybody. Here is is my character like i said we're trying to do a pirate themed build so i got him dressed up with a nice pirate hat we got uh some pirate light clothes um obviously a little bit of plate mail on there there are some better pirate costumes uh but this one is the closest to still fit the build that i'm going for and also give us a bit of a, a nice aesthetic as well uh so this build is going to focus primarily around the rapier and um the the musket uh basically giving it sort of a sniper uh you know uh masterful sword play type build uh that fits right into a pirate in my assumptions uh so that's what we're gonna do here all the builds that i'm gonna give you guys i'm gonna try to build it around like a certain theme a certain type of character or or so on and so forth uh and today we are doing that with the pirates so with that being said let's take a look at the skill trees here so i'm gonna start off with rapier since this is sort of the uh the main uh weapon that i use for like all of my combat and everything like that i use the musket to sort of pull things in get a bit of uh some damage over times going and a bit of damage on them once they come into melee range i switch over to rapier and i have that extra mobility those gap closers and there's additional dots that i could use um with the rapier so i've went heavy sort of into tondo right now which is your bleed um i've also added um so you can read what it does there on the screen Tondo essentially does like a frontal arc slash uh, that will hit anybody in front of you and put a bleed over time on them um, to help make this better and to help enhance sort of the, the amount of damage over time as you're like repositioning uh, and everything like that. I've also added cooldown reduction. So anytime I hit them, 1% uh, of the cooldown will be reduced. Uh, I have further added to this by when I, when I apply the first bleed stack, I already reduce the cooldown by 10%. So as soon as I hit them with a bleed, I reduce it by 10%. Uh, and then I've also added that whenever I do a heavy attack against them, um, they it will extend the bleed by an additional two seconds to give you enough time to be able to get a secondary bleed on them or a tertiary or continue stacking those bleeds depending on how long you're going to be fighting the target. Uh, generally, I could get two bleeds on an equal level or slightly higher level target. Against bosses, you can get a couple more. Uh, but it just keeps that extra damage going over time uh, so that as you're blocking, as you're repositioning, as you're trying to, uh, you know, survive as this is skill-based combat, uh, you're going to have that constant damage happening to them uh, to give you a little bit more breathing room. Now, to help uh, supplement this, I've also went with Evade because, uh, you know, pirates are very mobile. I want to have that mobility uh, as well. Uh, so evade gives you a small reliable sidestep in whatever direction that you're moving it'll cancel whatever you do but also if you do a light attack uh, at any point within the evade uh, they will be performed a lot faster than they usually would be so you can sort of evade come in and get some really quick attacks in in between their blocks and stuff like that this uh, will lead well into like pvp as well i think flesh a really really strong ability really good gap closers it's got some really uh nice add-ons as well some of the uh i guess you can say like the supplemental uh points that you can put in to help like enhance this ability you know if you kill somebody with this the cooldown of the lunge will be reduced by 80 percent, which is huge get in do some damage get some bleeds reposition get back in add some more bleeds uh you know uh and try to attack from like uh points of opportunity so like uh rear attacks and all that kind of stuff to maximize the damage with the pirate build we will continue to update this guide and this build uh as we get further along as we level up more uh but sort of wanted to give you guys an idea of what i was doing and how i was looking at it uh at, in terms of like a pirate build now with that being said we're going to go over to the musket 
Uh, this is what I'm looking at for the musket right now. Uh, basically, what I have is I have power shot. So this is what I will pull with pretty much every time. It's 150% weapon damage shot. Um, when I hit with power shot, you also gain an empower state, which increases uh, the damage that you deal by 10% for 5 seconds. Uh, I've also added increased musket damage by 5% if you aim down sights. So I will aim down sights for 3 seconds. Your musket will start to glow. Um, I will hit them with a power shot, increasing all damage done by 10%. Uh, I, then I will set them on fire to add an additional burn uh, to them. So an additional damage over time. And generally by this point, the uh, the opponent is on top of me. I switch over to uh, I switch over to my rapier, and then we start applying our bleeds and using our gap closers and all that kind of stuff. So um, tons of cool abilities. I will be adding the trap as well. That will be my third ability. So I throw a trap down in front of me. I lead them into me. I gain that additional damage over time, or that different uh, sorry that empowering sort of damage. Uh, as well as setting them on fire, causing an additional uh, damage over time, and then starting to hit them with bleed. So by the time I go through my first sort of rotation, they've already got a burn on them, they got a stack of bleed, and, you know, I'm able to evade, close gaps, and everything like that if they try to get out of my range to try to heal up or anything like that. We have those gap closers and that ability to be very mobile, very agile, uh, and put a lot of damage down range really, really quick. So with that being said, that's sort of the, the logic behind everything. That's the skills I've chosen and everything like that. Let's jump into a little bit of gameplay so you guys can see it in action. All right, so here we are. This is one of the missions I have to do here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to show you a little bit about the rotation. I will do my best uh, to, to talk through everything that I'm doing as we do it so you guys can see it in action. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull out our musket. Uh, let me show you guys what I'm working with here as well. So we have uh, 282 gear score rapier. Uh, with dex and constitution uh and we have a musket uh with dexterity on it and lifesteal uh 285. uh the armor we have is the pirate gunslinger hat of the ranger uh obviously with more dexterity uh we have the covenant initiate code of the brigand so these are armor pieces you can purchase when you choose your faction so i have chosen the covenant uh the leather armor for this i find does look sort of piratey with a little bit of you know plate on it as well uh, so we have all coveted faction stuff for all of our armor pieces. They're all gear score 280. Uh, and then we have the round shield of the cavalier giving us some more dexterity as well. Uh, you will notice here that the, uh, that the rapier and the musket both, um, uh, are increased, are made more effective by dexterity. And they're also both under intelligence. Uh, so I've put the majority of my points into dexterity. Uh, obviously, I have a lot of armor that increases my dexterity as my main stat. Uh, but I also have an equal amount of base points. So if you look here, I've got 18 points in dexterity as like my basic points that I've put in through levels. I got 17 into intelligence. Uh, and then constitution, we have 18 points. Uh, this is all to increase our health and everything like that. So those are the three stats that I built to make the rapier and the musket the most effective they can be. By putting points into both the stats that increase their effectiveness, uh, it's going to give us the most uh, damage out of those weapons and give us the most efficiency out of it as well. Uh, so we have an increased 5% chance of getting a critical hit and we get some extra skidding speed by having our dexterity over level 50. That is what we're looking at. So let's get into the rotation now. What you guys are here for, see it all put to use. And uh, right now we got to go kill some enforcers here. So basically, as soon as I do it, like I said, we're going to do that overcharge. We're going to make sure we aim down sights for over three seconds. So our weapon starts gl uh, glowing blue like that. We're going to hit him. We're going to go right into the burn. We're going to throw another shot in. This guy might not even make it to us. And there we go. He's dead. And that was pretty much an equal level uh, guy. So let's try to get one that's a little bit closer to our level. Let's build up that charge. There we go. It is good to go. Building it back up. Hit him with it. Gain that increased boost. Oh, missed on that one. Headshot for the critical. Headshot for the critical. Switch to rapier. Block his first attack into a bleed. Into a heavy attack. And now we've got our gap closer to go right through him. Into another heavy attack. Since he's just chilling here. Into another bleed. 
into another gap closer. I'm not quite sure why this dude isn't attacking us. Making it an easy target for us. Get another bleed on him. So now we got two stacks of bleeds into a block because he's coming in. There's another heavy attack and he's down. Um, so now when you're, when you're sort of overwhelmed like this, you got multiple targets, right? I'm going to do a heavy attack to push him back. I'm going to do um, some blocks to get him into position. Then I'm going to gap close through so that I can get into a better position and get another bleed on them. Now, obviously, there's some other people here doing a similar mission. Um, so we're able to get a little bit uh, of help here. But that uh, gives you a little bit of insight into how it works. So we're going to do this one again without the musket this time. Go right into a bleed. Gap closer through. And then we come in and we finish them up. Simple, easy, uh, just like that. And we can switch. If we want to support somebody else, we can obviously switch here. Hit him with a heavy shot. Hit him with another headshot. And then, and he's down. All right, so here we go. So we got a level 20 here. Uh, and with that little gray bar underneath, it's basically an elite. So this should give you a much better idea of how efficient uh, the build is. So here we go. So again, we're going to do that charge shot with our Q. We're going to build it up until we see that we got that extra damage boost as well, which we do now. We're going to hit him with that. We're going to go into the burn. We're going to try to dodge his attack. Burn. There we go. Now he's got that damage over time on him. We're going to get one more shot into him. We're going to go into our gap closer. Do that charged attack, get that bleed on him. The burn now falls off. We're going to do some more heavy hits. Going to block. Heavy hit again. And we're going to get that second stack of bleed on. He's at quarter health now. This is a level 20. Two levels higher and an elite. He evades. We still have two stacks of bleed on him. Still ticking away. Get another bleed on him. He's now got three stacks and it's dead. We barely take any health. We get some green loot out of it. He's dead. We're good. And that is how we do it, Forge. So there you have it, Forge. Hopefully you guys liked the video today. That wraps up our pirate build. We got to show you the build, the weapons we use, why I chose the skills that I did up until the current level that we are. Uh, we looked forward into a few of the other skills as well. We showed you what it could do against some trash mobs on some general questing. And we showed you what it could do against some elites as well. Um, wrapping it all up, just want to say it's, a, it's been a lot of fun playing New World so far. Uh, the gameplay is good. The active combat I've been really, really enjoying. And the fact that it's not just click a button, like, especially with like the musket where it's not just, you know, target the enemy, hit one, two, three, four, you do damage to it. You actually have to aim, you headshots matter, like where you hit matters, everything like that timing matters. Uh, and I think that's, you know, Amazon is on a really good path here. Uh, so very excited uh, to be involved in this project. Very excited to start uh, streaming it more. Can't wait for the 28th of September when the game goes live. And again, guys, gals, ladies and gentlemen, if you made it to the end of the video, like you, if you're seeing this right now, you thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate it. It means the world to me. Make sure to smash that subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment so that I can reply to you guys, see how you're feeling about the, the game as well. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, guys, stay safe, stay healthy. I will see you then.